guys and welcome back to this segment on our channel called Answering Your Most Google Medical Questions by Heidi Gastro and today's video is a super interesting one. So let's get started. So in today's video we will be exploring the question, what are 8 signs of depression? So depression is a mood disorder that is characterized by excessive feelings of sadness, loss and anger. According to the World Health Organization, it is in fact the most common illness worldwide and affects approximately 265 million people around the world today. Sadness is part of being human and is a natural reaction to painful circumstances such as the death of a loved one or the loss of a job. And all of us will experience sadness at some point in our lives. Depression, however, is an illness that causes constant and unshakable dark feelings and in some cases may even lead to suicide. So here are 8 signs that you or a loved one might be suffering from depression. Number 1 is a hopeless outlook. So one of the most common signs of depression is having a hopeless outlook on life and experiencing unrelenting sadness that keeps you from going about your usual routines. Many individuals may also suffer from feelings of worthlessness, self-hate, or even inappropriate guilt. Number two is a loss of interest. So depression can take the pleasure or enjoyment out of the things the individual once loved. A loss of interest or withdrawal from activities that he or she once looked forward to, such as sports, hobbies, or going out with friends, is yet another telltale sign of major depression. Number three is a disruption of sleep patterns. So depression is often accompanied by a lack of energy and an overwhelming feeling of fatigue, which often leads to excessive sleeping in some individuals. But in other cases, depression may also be linked with insomnia, especially in individuals who are big overthinkers and who also suffer from anxiety too. Number four is irritability and agitation. So individuals who suffer from depression are often also very cranky and grumpy and are very easily triggered by little things that normally wouldn't set others off. Part of the prickliness may also be due to the way depression exacerbates normal hormonal swings. Number five is an inability to concentrate or focus. So being chronically preoccupied with thoughts of sadness and emptiness can plunge you into a head fog that affects the ability for you to perform well at your job, affects your memory, and also affects your decision-making skills. Number six is changes in appetite and weight. So this is another sign that actually may go either way. Some individuals who suffer from depression will have an increased appetite and therefore gain weight, while others won't be hungry at all and will actually lose weight over time. Number seven is unexplained body aches and pains. So untreated depression can often be channeled throughout the body and show up as an actual physical ailment, such as headaches, stomach problems, and even nagging neck and back pain. And finally, number eight, which is thinking about or attempting suicide. So in the majority of cases, depression is also connected with suicidal thoughts or even suicide attempts. Persistent thoughts about ending your life, wondering how family and friends would feel if you went ahead and did it, and pondering about different ways to carry out the act are all very common in many patients with depression. And so that brings us to the end of this video on the 8 signs of depression. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And if you'd like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via PayPal. Take care and thanks for joining me today in answering some of your most Google medical questions.